York. The other two have decided they're very hungry. And this one is stalking us. He has the look of a young prince, don't you think, Vim? Yes, he's probably a young princess. Except we know the lions, of course, are not real royalty. They're more kind of mafia royalty. He's very sweet. Hello, Marianne in Arkansas. You're wondering if I've ever tasted the baboon's tail, same as these uh, lions are doing. I have, Marianne. I've absolutely tasted a... Um, a baboon's tail. They taste like straw. Taste like nothing on earth. I don't think it's a good idea to eat the um, to eat the tubers, for example, or the leaves. I think they can be quite toxic. But the I have definitely tasted the sort of capillary, uh, strawy kind of protuberance that these chaps have been eating. It's not nice. Let's move slightly, everybody. Can you see how the light is fading? I think VM's guess that the others, that the rest of the pride could be on a fairly large kill somewhere not too far away is, is a good one. Because there are no tracks going out of the reserve anywhere where we looked this morning. Now, what I want you to appreciate is that as we drive straight like this, they will see obviously the bull bars and they see these two big headlights and I wonder if they don't perceive them as eyes so normally you can get pretty close if you're driving sideways but as soon as you start driving forwards towards animals they tend to perceive it as slightly more of a threat I'm just going to ease forward here they will get used to us again I'm going to watch mum's behavior very carefully watch out for this tree everybody there are no thorns on it Right there, Vim. We'll just watch Mum carefully. Make sure she's happy with us. I'm going to talk a little bit more quietly. She looks fine for now. But we want to make sure that we turn away from her now. I'm going to go, everyone. Perfect. That's much better. Isn't that sweet? Look. I imagine that cannot be a particularly comfortable feeling for the mother, given that they've got little teeth now. They are lions, obviously, and therefore those teeth ain't going to be little blunt things. They'll be like little needles. Wonderful stuff. Justin, you're wondering about those spots on the lion's head and why they don't keep them as they get older. Well, Try and think about what advantage it would give them now versus what advantage it would give them as adults. So there's their mum. You can see she's got no spots on her head. And the question is, why does she not have spots on her head? What possible advantage could having the spots confer on them? And the answer, Justin, I believe lies in the habitat in which they live as youngsters versus the habitat in which they live as older lions. They do not lurk in the thick bush as older lions. They are basically savanna animals, and they will do they will do what they like. And they're very confident, but when they hunt, they hunt often in the long grass, and they hunt, yeah, they do hunt through thickets, obviously. But as they hunt through thickets, they cannot be completely hidden because they are so large. And so they have that tawny color. They hunt at night. The youngsters, a bit more like leopards, live in thick bush. They want to remain completely hidden from sight. 
and they live in the da kind of dappled light of the drainage lines where there are thick bushes and shadows. And that, exactly like for a leopard, is a great colour to be. You want to be that sort of spotted colour that breaks up your outline. And that's why they've got spots. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Too marvellous. Too marvellous. Then people, would you like me to sneak slightly forward, or are you okay here? Yeah. No, there's a big strict knot in the way. There is a big strict knot in the way, Vim. I'll depress the clutch and see if we don't roll forward. We won't. This is Wendy. <laughs> How's that? No, no good. 